Never tell nobody what you got, bro. Don't tell them what kind of money you got. Don't tell them what kind of guns you got. Don't tell them anything that they don't need to know that's personal. You know the reason why so many drug dealers fall off? So many powerful men fall off? Because these motherfuckers don't know when to stop running their fucking mouth. They be like, oh, bro, you know, I got the motherfucking Valenciaga's dog. You know, I got the 10K chain, bro. I'm balling. I'm hooping. And you know what happens, bro? They don't get set up. Motherfuckers start coming around them. They're like, oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, that nigga Brandon. Brandon out here with his jewels. Oh, Brandon, Brandon running up. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, Brandon, he got the hose on him. Oh, shit. Brandon, he got the new Mercedes. This is what normally happens, bro. You start getting a lot of people in your circle who is around you for the wrong reasons. Y'all need to understand something, bro. Y'all really need to understand something, bro. When you move, most people that move with you is not moving with you for the wrong reasons, bro. I tell you like this, it is very hard for y'all to find genuine people. Unless you at a level where you can read people on a mark. Like me, bro, I can read people, bro. I've been doing sales for four years. I've been got manipulated by women, former uh, friends, former bosses. So I know damn near, not every manipulation trick in the book, but I know a lot of this shit. But for a lot of you guys who are average guys when it comes to like your communication skills, bro, one thing that I notice a lot of men do is they want to tell people everything they have because, you know what I'm saying, y'all got a big ego, bro. And that comes from internal validation issues, bro, where guys who say, oh, yeah, bro, I got the nice car, bro. I got, you know what I'm saying, I got, I got the motherfucking new iPhone. Just telling motherfuckers what you got. You making yourself a lick when you do shit like that. Because I guarantee you guys, in the moments when y'all had a lot of money, in the moments when y'all was showing shit off on social media, these are the people who came. You had women who came around. And you had either old friends or fake friends come around, bro. But as soon as your ass fell off, as soon as your ass quit posting, as soon as your ass missed the payment, as soon as your ass wasn't on top, what happened, bro? What happened? That's why I live my life by the, the song by Biggie Smalls called The Ten Crack Commandments. One crack commandment that he said is gonna live with me for the rest of my fucking life. Y'all listen to it right now. Never let no one know how much dough you hold Cause you know, the cheddar breed jealousy Especially if that man fucked up, get your ass stuck up Y'all need to understand, bro, that the quiet man is the most powerful man The man who speaks and runs his mouth and tells people everything he got More often than not, it's gonna be a fucking finesse And y'all need to understand, in the climate that we're living in, bro In the climate that we're living in where people, one, don't got no money, they're not working, two, they losing their fucking mind, going batshit crazy, and three, with the amount of political unrest, social unrest, people is gonna start knocking on your fucking doors to see what you got. If you a guy who out here flexing hundred dollar bills, flexing these blue racks, bro, I guarantee you gonna have people like, oh, yo, bro, uh, you think I can stay at your crib for a couple days? Hey, yo, bro, uh, you, 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 you think uh, I can slide through real quick? And, bro, you need to understand something. I read the Bible, dog. And one story that really, really spoke to me was how Cain killed Abel, his own motherfucking brother, because he understood that Abel was one of the chosen ones. You see, a lot of you guys watch me on this video right now. You prepping up. You getting water. You getting food. You getting ammo. And when shit hits the fan, motherfuckers gonna be knocking on your door. You know, it's funny as hell, bro. But this is how I know this shit is true. Because every time I had money and I was showing my shit off on Snapchat, old friends would be like, yo, bro, you think I can get $200? Hey, yo, bro, you think I can get $150? But motherfuckers ain't never had shit when I needed their help, bro. And especially women, bro. I remember, I tell you guys, bro, last year I had went to Houston, bro. I had went to the Houston Rockets game. I had court side seats. I was living a motherfucking life. And I got my apartment, bro. And you know me, bro, I had a huge ego, bro. Last year, I was like, yeah, motherfuckers, I was playing Drake all me, bro. I was showing that shit off. Next thing you know, old chick hit me up like, hey, you know, I I, I could, I, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't talk to you for two months because I was so mad, but, you know, I just, I just caved in and I needed your dick and blah, 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 blah. It wasn't because she missed me, bro. It's because she seen I had a fucking apartment. And as soon as she seen that, she hit me up. I smashed. And she was trying to come in and, and, and live with me, bro. She's talking about, oh, you know, um, we're going to get some dogs and we're going to get some furniture. Because, bro, I was showing off what the fuck I had. And don't get me wrong. It's not bad. 
but y'all need to understand that 80 to 90 percent of the people around you are only with you for what you can do for them that's how it is and that's why a lot of you guys get fucked over because motherfuckers be selling y'all dreams talking about oh yeah bro you my dog you my dog you my this and they turn their back on you bro the people who turn your back on you is not strangers bro strangers don't know anything about you the people who turn their back on you are the people that you love the most and that you trust the most that's why you can't have family in your business bro you can't mix blood with business bro because regardless of what happens man your family is just like human nature. Your friends have human nature. Women have human nature. And if you're one of these guys who trust and believe everything and what everybody tells you, that's when you're going to end up in the dirt. And right now, bro, being that you're in a good position, you prepping up, you understand what's going on, you got a big target on your back, bro. So the main thing that y'all need to learn, bro, is follow my, my, my Herbalife mentor, man, my guy, Soup. He, he might be a millionaire, bro. And he live in a, a regular apartment, a two bedroom apartment. Like he's just a regular dude making 30,000. And when I seen that shit, I'm like, damn bro, like what the fuck? Like you richest, like you got bread and you, you live like a regular man, bro. And that really spoke to me that a powerful man is never too flashy. A powerful man is never too loud, bro. Like my boy, and this is why I love drug dealer movies. Like my boy Frank Lucas said, bro, you making too much motherfucking noise. sign on it that says arrest me you understand you're too loud you're making too much noise look at me the loudest one in the room is the weakest one in the room i told you that y'all need to make sure y'all move a low key bro especially right now so look man if y'all enjoyed the video smash that thumbs up button comment down below let me know your thoughts dog and if you're new subscribe to your boy i'm out this motherfucker man